Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess, the owner of Six Spice, and I'm here today to talk to you about some money blocks and how they might be impacting your business. So I had a really nice friend come over today and we were just talking and the concept of money and money blocks and how it affects your lives came up. So she is like kind of a aspiring business owner. She doesn't own a business. She's a photographer, but she kind of wants to get out of her job and I just like, you know, like oh so many ideas in my head about her and then the topic of like money came up and I was explaining to her how I had so many how many um, money blocks that I've discovered that I had throughout my business and how business is just like a personal journey and especially with money and we had similar upbringings where we were poor and you know raised by single moms and didn't really have a lot and, things like that and I completely related to her and even though that she's a little bit older than me I seem to we seem to be at the same like wavelength with where we're at kind of with different psychological things so I was telling her that with my first two years of business and I wanted to see if maybe my story can help inspire you and help you so my first two years of business and I made money and then I Got to the point where I was like, where has all my money gone? I'm making it and it's not there. It's not in my bank account. I'm always broke. I never, I have enough money to pay the business expenses, but I have never, never anything left over. Where did it go? Maybe you can relate. So what I discovered is that I was spending it all. And I wasn't spending it all and going shopping. I was going not for like clothes and shoes and things like that. What I was doing is I was buying supplies and I was buying way too many supplies. Like, let me show you what I mean. You can see this box. This is a $400 box of beeswax. See these fragrance oils? They're at least 30 to $50 per bottle. And then the list goes on. And this is what I was discovering. Eventually what happened was that I just got tired of being broke and not putting anything away. And I was just working and not having anything. So I started looking into what was actually going on. And I ended up, I had a smaller house and I had a room, one of the bedrooms that I had turned into my office. And it kept getting fuller and fuller and fuller of stuff. And then uh, <laughs> I wish somebody would have pointed it out to me. But eventually what I realized was that I just had too much stuff. And that I wasn't using my money to grow or invest or do anything like that what put it away or anything like i should be doing what i was doing was i was investing in my business and i was taking courses and i learned a lot of skills and things like that but i wasn't putting any money away i was spending way too much on supplies supplies i actually really didn't need i if i was being truly honest with myself i really didn't need that giant box of beeswax so what I did is I challenged myself, and this was very difficult to do at first. I challenged myself to not spend any money and do not buy any supplies. So I did a few months where I did not buy any supplies. And I used up what I had and I made projects with what I had around. And then I sold a bunch of products and Christmas came around and I had money. And I was able to save. So this is the trick I did to make my brain accept money instead of always resisting. I made a separate bank account. So I had my bank account, my savings account, and then I made another savings account. And this savings account, I made it so that I couldn't access it. So what I did is I had $500 because I chose an amount that didn't scare me. This is the key. $1,000 scares me, $500 didn't scare me. So I chose $500 and I took $500 and every time I made $500, I took it out of my business account and I put it into the savings account that I couldn't access. And then, every time I made $500, I put it into that savings account that I couldn't access. Eventually, I started realizing that when I opened my bank statement or my, my online banking account, I would see that I had money and I actually had money. And then I slowly got myself used to having money and that it was okay to have this money because what we do is when we fear money we think it's not okay and that we're not safe and we can't have it 
So you have to rewire your brain to accept money and sometimes you have to do it really slowly. Uh, I'm at the point now where instead of putting it into that account where I'm scared of it, I put it into, I can now put it into my other savings account that I have access to. And do you know what happened? It's still in that savings account and I haven't touched it even though I can access it. See, what I would try to do in the past is that I would put it in that savings account and then I would transfer it out and I would just spend it. But I'm actually at the point now where I can put the money into the savings account and I'm not touching it and I'm not spending it and it's been there for several months and it keeps growing. Try this technique out if you're scared of money, if you're at the point in your business where you don't have any money, you're making money, there's no money in your accounts and you don't know why. The bills are getting paid. It's not about paying the bills. It's about excessively spending it and you don't know what you're spending it on. When you're at that point, try this technique out. Get another separate savings account. Put the cash in there where you can't access it. Save it up. Get used to the idea of money. And pretty soon, you will be at the point where you are okay with having money. I've got another quick manifestation technique that I'm going to give to you in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope it was helpful to you. Get that account, fix your money blocks, get comfortable with money and it's really going to change your life because you know what? You're worth, you're worth changing your habits over. Have a great day.